I'm going to tell you a little bit about how I made an emergency transfer switch for my furnace to be able to switch over from line power to generator power in case there was a, an outage. First I bought a 4 inch uh, metal electrical box and just a blank cover. Um, second I bought a 125 volt 20 amp double pull double throw toggle switch and then a 15 amp circuit breaker 120 volt this one's uh, just a little push button to reset kind of nice uh, a couple of clamps to go into the box so the wires don't chafe some strands of 12 gauge copper stranded wire and a recessed male receptacle I actually got this at um, Granger. It was about uh, $12, I think. The circuit breaker I picked up at uh, my favorite electronics store, I think it was about $7 or $8. A double pull, double throw switch, and the electrical box. I picked both of these up at Home Depot. I think the box was about $2, and I think the switch was about $6 or $7. Also going to need a handful of crimpon connectors, some spade and some loop. I already had those, so no real cost there. If you didn't want to buy this um, receptacle, you could also go a different route and just use a, a pigtail or you know, a cheap um, extension cord end. Uh, I didn't think that would look very professional. I wanted something that looked a little bit more um, you know, manufactured and, and uh, professional, so uh, I went with the, the recepts unit that I found at uh, Granger. So I finished my emergency transfer switch for my furnace. Um, what I did was I took the blank plate and drilled a hole in it for the double pull double throw switch and then another hole for the circuit breaker and a larger hole for the male receptacle. And I just printed out a label on my laser printer to label everything so that um, it kind of looked a little bit neater and a little bit more professional. Um, on the back, you can see I just uh, we've got a ground wire. Our neutral goes right to the double pull, double throw switch, and the hot wire is running through um, the circuit breaker. So all I'm going to do is wire in my line hot and neutral to these two poles of the switch, and then this will be the these two terminals will be the feed for the furnace and uh, I can mount everything all up and uh, close it up and test it and we'll be done. Okay, so here's my furnace and I just took the switch that was on the furnace off and replaced it with my transfer switch box and tested it with line power and also flipped it over to generator and plugged in a cord just from another household outlet on a different circuit and uh, confirmed the switch acts exactly as it should.